Hi, You Can Heal family. My name is Sheena Major and I'm a life coach. And if you're listening today, that means I'm your life coach in this moment. Today I want to talk a little bit about knowing who you are in Christ and how that will help you on your healing journey. I help people heal from relationships that have been unhealthy for them because I've been in many of those and I kind of have a little experience in being in them and how to get out of them in a safe, healthy way. So with that said, thank you for joining me. If this is your first time, I'm happy you're here. And um, if you're watching again, I'm happy you're here. So it, it's a blessing for me to know that the information I'm putting out is, is resonating with you and you wanted to come back and, and hear something new today. So what I want to first of all say is I had a really good day. About a couple weeks ago, my daughter was like, Mom, I want to get baptized because they announced it at church, and she's nine, and her baptism was tonight, and it was, it was just the sweetest thing. It really was, and I was so proud of her, and driving home, she's like, I'm just different. I'm just different, and it fits in because she was asking me questions like, well, I don't feel any different, but I kind of do, you know, and I was explaining to her how... Um, even though you might not feel anything, God is living on the inside of you. So you are already, um, a, you know, a spirit being like his spirit lives in you. So God can't live anywhere unholy. And this is the point that I wanted to make in the video. When we're saved, we are instantly saved because the word says if you call on the name of the Lord you shall be saved so that's why for myself I was saved but I was still choosing unhealthy relationships so you know why why is that why are you a saved person or someone who has a relationship with the Lord right you have a relationship with God but you still find yourself in relationships that are unhealthy and, and here's, here's the key, and I hope I'm going to make sense and you can get this. When you ask Christ into your life, you're automatically saved and sealed, right? But it's the renewing of the mind that has to take place to help us out of these situations that are tormenting us, really. And how do we do that? By, by recognizing that our soul needs to be like worked on which houses our mind, will, and emotions. So even though you're automatically, you know, never able to be plucked out of God's hand because you're in Christ now that you're saved, you've still got to work on your soul. You've got to work on renewing your mind. You've got to work on not getting caught up in your emotions all the time. These are the things we have to do daily in order to be able to make the right decisions for ourselves. Now remember how Jesus um, cleansed the disciples' feet and he did that as an example. And he said, you don't need to do the whole body, Peter, just the feet. So it's an everyday thing. You have to come to the Lord every day and say, help me to become more like you. Help me to want to take on your character. Help me to not get caught up in my feelings and my emotions and let me remember what the Word of God says and make my decisions based on that, right? Because let's go back again. You are in Christ and, and you are a spirit being and you're housed in a body. Like you're looking at me and you're seeing my body, but I'm a spirit being. Why? Because Christ lives in me and he can't live in something unholy. And it took me a long time to get that, but once I got that, then I realized, okay, if if I'm holy because God is holy, that means I'm I'm like Him, so I'm already um, perfect. I'm all you know. I'm beautiful in His sight. I'm already everything that He is, even if I don't believe it. So even if you're in a relationship and you know you need to get out of it, but you keep staying in it, or you know. 
um, that you don't feel you don't feel loved or you don't feel pretty or you don't feel valuable or you don't feel worthy that's all that stuff that's got to get worked out in your in your soul your mind will and emotions because you already are those things because why Christ lives in you and Christ is worthy Christ is holy Christ is pure Christ is good you know he's all those things so you just have to catch up to that and the way you do that is is working working on believing you're those things even if you don't feel like it by dealing with your 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 soul let your soul let your soul um listen to the voice of god because remember if you have your mind will and emotions one over here you're going to be saying i know i shouldn't do that but i want to and um that's your flesh that's your flesh trying to take over and you've got to fight against that thing you've got to say i'm not going to just listen to my flesh i'm going to do what the spirit has to say and you're going to be subject to that you're going to put yourself under the obedience of christ and you're going to walk and move according to his way and to his calling and as he's calling you right and you're not going to you're not going to want to do those things you used to do remember when you are when you are saved and you're born again and you know it was such a beautiful picture with the baptism how you go under the water and then you come back out so you are a whole new creature old things are passed away everything is new and the way my pastor puts it which is so good is you know you're a whole new species now you're a whole different person so everything you've ever done all those things that have happened to you that hurt you you know all the pain you're in and all the just um sorrow you're feeling since you've been experiencing these relationships and maybe you're in one now or you're coming out of it but you're sad and you feel lonely or down just know that god is is with you he's in you and he's calling you to him so go to the word go to him and let him fill you and let him be everything that you need let him be everything that you need and know that you're not um you don't have to stay sad even though you feel sad because God God's not sad right and he lives in you remember if he lives in you it's a holy a holy place right it's a good place it's an uplifting place so just work from that even if you don't feel like it even if you don't feel happy even if you don't feel joy just know that God is joy so then you are it right and not get not get caught up on our emotions and you know what those emotions are causing us to feel because that's the enemy wanting to keep you there and wanting to keep you stuck I hope that you're getting that uh, maybe listen to the video a couple of times and just ask God to reveal himself to you but I'm, I'm here to say and to encourage you that everything you need to heal is already on the inside of you. You just have to believe that. You just have to believe it, you know, faithfully. Walking by faith and not by sight. Believing in things we can't see. You know, believing that even though I don't feel great, I, I know I am. Because God loves me and his plan for me is good. And he's got wonderful things in store. And, and just believe that just believe that I hope that um, your day today well I know that your day today is going to be better than it was yesterday and, and this moment you're in right now is a joyous occasion it's a joyous occasion because you're listening to the sound of my voice and I pray that God has made a way in your heart and that what I'm saying is is moving you towards the direction of just wanting more of him and that's how you'll heal you really will i'll keep trying to do my very best to make a videos for you that make sense if there's something you want me to talk about let me know let me know and the other thing i learned today too i'm, I'm reading a book and it's just talking about how sometimes we love to stay in the trauma we love to stay in the um in the pain because we're comfortable with it and we're used to it and our body you know becomes used to it we're looking for the feeling we get 
from all the chaos, you know, and all the crazy and all the drama. And we need to start moving away from the drama and just move closer to our Savior and just um, trust Him. Walk with Him in the cool of the day and just believe that He's guiding you, He's protecting you, and He's wanting you to want Him too. So until our next video, what do I say? Always remember that true healing begins with self-love. Why? Because God is love and He lives on the inside of you. We will talk soon. Bye.